Kidney stones are solid pieces of mass made up of tiny crystals that are found in the kidney or the ureter. They form due to a buildup of certain chemicals within the kidney. There are many different types of kidney stones. Each is named based off of the crystals that make up the hard part of the stone. Each type has a different cause and therefore a different route of treatment or prevention. The most common one would be calcium oxalate, which is caused by high levels of calcium. The second most common is calcium phosphate, and then we have struvite, uric acid, and cysteine. But we will be discussing calcium oxalate the most during this video. Kidney stones initially form in a process known as nucleation. When the factors encouraging salt crystals to develop outweigh the factors inhibiting salt crystals to develop. These crystals will get larger over time and result in a detectable kidney stone if the conditions in the urine remain favorable for stone formation. Now, there are two different types of nucleation. In homogeneous nucleation, crystals form around a nucleus with the same composition. Also, crystals with different compositions can also form around the nucleus. Organic materials such as cell debris may be deposited between the crystals as a matrix, and this is known as heterogeneous nucleation. The tiny crystal formations travel down the nephron and are usually deposited in the renal papilla to undergo the next major phase. The second phase in kidney stone formation is growth. This is when they increase in size and form large aggregates in the third stage of aggregation. This process happens rather quickly. Once it aggregates, it implants itself in the lining where it continues to grow for an unspecified length of time until it becomes displaced and begins to travel down the ureter. As it travels, it continues to grow until it reaches about 4 to 5 millimeters in diameter, which is too large to pass naturally. This causes it to become stuck at certain areas in the ureter. The main places are the ureteropelvic junction, the iliac artery, or the ureterovesical junction. Kidney stones cause severe pain until it slowly passes into the bladder and out of the body in the urine stream. Calcium oxalate is the most common type of kidney stone and it is a soluble salt. Calcium oxalate and its buildup in the body can be explained through chemical equilibrium shifts. The equilibrium equation shown in the picture is that of calcium oxalate breaking down into calcium ions and oxalic acid. This is a reversible reaction. When kidney stones are formed, the oxalic acid reacts with the calcium ions to form calcium oxalate crystals in the kidney. Depending on equilibrium and Le Chat factors, temperature, volume, and concentration, the system will either shift left, right, or remain the same to maintain equilibrium. As the concentration of calcium or oxalic acid levels increase, the equilibrium shifts to the left, forming more calcium oxalate, or kidney stones. Referring to Le Chat's principle, if the concentration of calcium or oxalic acid decreases, equilibrium will try to counteract by shifting right and breaking down calcium oxalate to produce more calcium ions or oxalic acid. At equilibrium, the rate of dissociation of the calcium ion and oxalic acid will be equal to the rate of precipitation of calcium oxalate. Foods with high levels of calcium, including cheese and milk, and foods with high oxalic acids, including chocolate and spinach, shift equilibrium left due to the common ion effect. Since more calcium and oxalic acid are already on the product side, adding more will shift it right towards the reactant side, thus producing more calcium oxalate and reducing the solubility.